What is going on guys and girls? We have an interesting video for you today. We have a kind of a big issue with our build to discuss with you guys. As but, expected, all things considered, what's happening with the world? Yes, we'll get into that in a second. If you're brand new to our channel, if you haven't seen what we're doing, we are currently renovating two barns into a business and a residence. The business is currently under construction, the residence will be in the future, but After that's- After everything is moved. Yes. From the residence building into the business exactly. building, which is currently under construction. But before we jump into today's video, we also have some pretty exciting news to announce from Allie's channel. I'm making crafts. She's making crafts again. And selling the crafts yeah. that I'm making because I thought it was really cool to take the dismantled wood from the barn door and create a craft out of it so that I was salvaging wood that was going to go in a landfill. And then I figured, cool. well, I can only use so much for my own decor, for like friends and family decor. How about I sell it to our subscribers who love to watch our channel and then they can have a piece of our barn. It's, it's a great idea. I just great think idea. it was, you know, it's so, green. So all this week, ali has been making these crafts and now they're available on our website. I'll put a link in the description of today's video. If you want to go buy one, that'd be really cool. You can support Ali. I'll put a link to her craft channel in the video as well, or the video description. She only made six of them, so they're super, super limited. <laughs> it's just six. <laughs> yeah, so don't be sad if they sell out very quickly. But um, I'll make more if this goes well and a lot of people like it. And I just thought it would be a really sweet, cute Valentine's Day present from one significant I think it's other. Cool. I think it's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, the other day we met up with our contractor and walked around the barn, so let's jump into that. Look at the boxes. There's wires in these boxes now. Wow. That's so nice and clean. You see that? There's wires in the boxes. Yeah. So these are gonna be plugs as well? Yes, Not we needed outlets out here. So there are two, two outlets. outlets. So we can plug stuff in like right up here. Yeah, I know where the doors are going here. Oh yeah. Just haven't cut it out yet. There's no door. They're waiting until after the spray foam insulation to cut it oh. out. Because they don't want to get any on the doors and no matter how well you tape up the doors, something could still happen. True. So we don't want any to get on here. I will say they did a pretty good job lining the panels back up again. Yeah. You know? There's a, I yeah. mean, there's a seam when you get up close, but from afar, it doesn't look bad at all. Oh, and they didn't screw it on all the way anyways. Like when they oh. tighten it up and screw it all on, you won't see the scene. Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna repaint it or? It's, well, we have to get paint to touch it up. True. Uh, and I, we don't need much. I mean, we would be fine with a gallon, so. Right. Uh, we know what color it is. We put it in the last video from Sharon Williams. We'll just get it and touch it up. Nice. But we don't, really don't need more than a gallon. Well, we what else has been accomplished? This is gonna be the double door now. This or, will be the double door, but they're again waiting to cut it out. But we have the doors. Our doors are here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at this place. We Look. just got to make sure they put the proper door because there's a left hand and a right hand. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Look, the windows window. are framed out. This is Callie's window. Callie's window. window. And then the two windows back here are framed out. Oh, look at that. So these are going to be can lights? The recess lighting. Recess lighting. Two, four, six, eight. And all the wires are in the boxes. Armored wire. That's commercial grade. Oh. You it never looks... have to worry about a fire hazard because of this. It looks and very the boxes are also metal and not plastic. They didn't nice. skim, you know? True. What's up, buddy? Hello. Good. Good to see you. Good. Hello. Hi, how's it going? This is Joe. Hey Joe. How are you doing? I'm Ra Joe. Ryan. Good to meet you, Ryan. Good to meet you. Allison. Joe. Good to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. That's, you're very strong. That's wow. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really good handshake. <laughs> so the only thing I ran into issues is the, the spray foam. The spray foam? What's yeah, the issue? Big time. Um, so they jack prices up to like 40 cents on the square on us. Mm -hmm. the, which is not the big deal. The big deal is getting the product in. Mm -hmm. The product's only from China and none of it's being shipped in right now. It's okay. physically the, the foam itself that you spray out of the machine. I see. So everything is back. I called two other companies and give me a quote and everybody's quotes went up to like high, 350 a square almost. So we just wait then? We can wait. I, I don't know what the... Way, what we can do is insulate the walls. I don't know. But then we would have to put up drywall, right? In here? Yeah. I mean, I would wait for this. 
Oh, you, you mean finish? in here we... Just get this say, finished. Yeah, I say wait for this. this. Then wait for this. Well, this doesn't... This, does. this is fine. I mean, that doesn't matter. I need to get something down these walls and the, and the ceiling. I don't want to let this just sit for another four months. No. Like, we're yeah, ready to close be... this up right now. Yeah. So, like I said, my drywall guys are right down the street. Yeah, they're ready to start. Yeah, they're ready to they're go They're calling drywall. them to start. Oh, really? The drywall guys yeah. are like, can we start People tomorrow? Really, like, I mean, can we start? Like, not yet. So I'm, I'm really not that concerned about this side getting done immediately That's anyway. What I'm saying. It's we just can, that. We can, this yeah. is small enough to be, we're not putting any drywall or any insulation in these walls because it's going to be pointless. This is a lot surface area. It's expensive. If we just worry about that and the roof. And then right. the only other thing is we're, we're taking the windows out of that building for here. Yes. And we, the assumption was that that inventory could move into this building because we're not going to have windows there. So the, that building needs to stay. That's why if I get this space done, yeah. any clothing and stuff, you might have to stack it in mm. for the meantime while we wait for this, just for okay. the spray foam. Do you have any idea of a time frame for the spray, spray foam? Well, I've been calling them every day. Okay. Like I'm taking hits left and right on two jobs right now, plus your job, which I, I, I ordered spray foam bulk. I yeah. Put, I put this job and two other jobs on one order right to yeah make this happen. we just so have to wait for this to be finished before we can start the house I mean, it's the same difference what do you mean yeah, but that's the thing you the guys permits, want to spray stuff for the house too the, right yeah i was going to say the same it's the same difference because the whole permitting process and the financing process it's a, and when we can break ground mission. by the time we can even start that the spray foam insulation will probably be in so with the with like the open roof and stuff the holes and stuff all the way down. I, I was see. thinking about to do that actually all the way around before they spray it because the voids are so big yeah that's what There's i was worried about yeah wasted spray foam yeah so let's just focus on this then first let's focus so, on this. So i've got this up and going i've got guys ready daniel as you can see, stubbed out the last electric. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what about the um, the garage doors and that that door? <laughs> yeah, okay, here's my issue. I don't have lumber here. Yeah. So I'm good. It's my son's birthday this weekend, so I'm sure. Oh, happy birthday. Floor. So I'm gonna bring down lumber from. We have a mill like 10 miles from us. Okay. So I'm gonna see if I can just throw the thing on a trailer and get it down here. All right. So we just need lumber for this. I just I just need two pilings. I mean, I've got okay. everything else to finish. What about the door? And the the door. He, I think he ordered it. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did order the door. So like I said, I just need to pick up the lumber for this, and I can finish this in that, and I can hang the garage doors. And okay. And get this yeah. done, and then we can come back and shoot the foam through this. Okay. Copy. Cool. Three? Yeah, don't stress it with timing because we're. Oh, dude, I'm just. I have to. Otherwise, I've got so much. I know. Yeah. I, I know on your side, but, but don't think we're I'm mad saying at you. for us, I, I'm we're not. not thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> Only person can get mad at me is myself. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <sighs> we're pretty chill. We knew things were gonna happen. Are okay. we gonna do the French drain after we start here? Because you said with permitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you get the permitting and stuff done. For this, and then we'll French drain. Then we'll French okay, drain. Okay, we're not French, French draining until, until after. Because we're going to be walking around the house, destroying everything. Mm. Yes. Moving plumbing pipes, gotcha. all that nonsense. Okay. So we're not going to even touch drain doing the French drain until after this. one of the last things we'll do. Okay. So we just tell him to work on the pond for now, then. Yeah, the pond we'll for now. Up. Does he still have the ex excavator here? He brought it home. He brought the excavator home. I told him to start on the pond. Okay. Because he said he can reach back here and dig this whole thing out. Yeah, that would be sweet because I'm probably There's only a little up. area he can't reach because right. his... But he said, I think he said he should be able to come in back this way. So when it rains and it does flood, oh. it goes down to that low spot there. Yeah. Which that, that, that whole flat plain needs to be dug down like just like okay. two feet. Okay. A little bit less. Yeah. And then we can put silk, um, silk fabric down. So once the water runs into that valley, just to chill. where we can hide the pipe, it just soaks through that into the dirt. Oh, cool. All right. So we finish this and then wait a while for the rest. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's why I said I can, I want to put some, I want to get this done. Dude. Yeah. But once this that's is fine. done, yeah. I can run AC and stuff in here. Yep. 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 Get it done. I mean, listen, if you, if you thought it was going to be six months until we got spray foam well, i would that's say that's what i'm scared of because all my other vendors are telling me uh, everyone's time time is different right now yeah i mean anyone yeah. who you can call right now is hacking their prices up because and the prices are hacked the, up getting right. this right. three footage yeah. price on it now because nobody has foam so the guys who've been buying foam and stacking it in storage units those dudes are making money i right see now. i see that's what's yeah. happened yeah so, 
Same thing. Controlling the supply and the demand. Man. All right. Oh, so Game the plan. The thing is, too, I've got a couple places to where you guys can get used hot tubs. Oh, don't think oh, it's shit. dirty and nasty. No, oh, I no, don't think so. that's fine. No, that's great. Yeah. yeah. You that's can what I buy to something do. for six, seven grand. Like yeah. Ten times the thing yeah. that you would think you can get yeah, for six, yeah. seven grand. Cool. Yeah. And when it comes to salt system or bromine system, I used to have built pools in uh, Washington, D.C. We oh. will put you a nice system together oh, yeah. so nice. you don't have to pour chlorine in a 24 oh, seconds. Great, yeah. great. We'll get that all straightened out to you. I just want to see oh. if we can... No, you can switch it off now. At least we don't have to worry yeah, about water coming now. into the building. That's Cut. a Cut. Yeah. That's a wrap. <laughs> so as you heard from us kind of talking to our contractor, there's a, there's a pretty big issue, and the issue is the supply chain. It's obviously not just construction, it's with every industry. Even reselling, we've been affected by supply chain issues. And the, the big thing is they're just not able to get the foam, the insulation foam for this barn that we're in right now. Right, and we want the spray foam insulation. That's what we were quoted for, but in the fine print, they can raise the price, you know? So we might have to consider alternative options. Well, in our contract, it doesn't say that, I don't think. I'd have to go uh, back and look yeah, at it. Yeah, we had to contract. go back and look at it, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we knew going into this project that there was gonna be bumps in the road. And we knew there would be supply chain issues with products that we needed for our build. We yeah. knew this would happen, we were just hoping it wouldn't happen this soon in the first building. But it's good practice for when we start to build on the house too. Yeah, you now know? we really know what to expect. I'm not angry. I knew something was gonna happen. I'm not upset. We waited this long. I think yeah. we can be a little patient to get yes. a yes. better insulation, but there might be one that's equally as good and equal in price, if not more affordable. Right. So. We're gonna, we're gonna see. And they seem pretty confident that they'll be able to get the actual business side of things done. So the little 700 square foot room where we can still store some inventory, take pictures, ship stuff out. So our business can continue to run. We just need to get this done. He said probably four months back ordered. So uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, you know? Yeah. We can't throw a fit and cry about it. We have to just roll with the punches and deal yeah. with it. That's life, right? Yeah, but he is very eager to get that office space yes. done. Like he's really pushing for us to just choose a different insulation, which is completely wonderful and acceptable, especially considering like it would be a commercial grade, commercial value. Absolutely. For the R value. Um, R value is the quality of the insulation kind of a Ryan how, how value. well. Yeah, the Ryan value it stands of the for insulation. Ryan value. Yeah. But yeah, I, it's going to be fine. I'm not too worried. The yeah. contractor really is pushing because they want to get it done. They don't want to just leave it open. They're not just walking away from us. I mean, right. they are very, very on top of it. Yes. Yeah. And as always, we love and respect your opinions as well. So if you know anything, this is our first time doing this too. So if you have any insights, if you're in the industry and you have anything you want to share, or if you have a storage unit full of spray foam you would like to sell us for a deal, please let us know because that might be what we need to. Yeah, there know. are people stockpiling certain products and waiting for the price to go up to a certain percentage and then they're going to sell them yeah. off from their warehouse but you know that's life that. goes on that is that uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we're going to continue to give you updates and show the progress of what's happening with the build and it's going to be a lot a yeah. lot's going to happen yeah Hopefully you guys have enjoyed these update videos so far. I know they're not very reselling related, but it all works together in one, you know? Well, now this is more, yeah, <laughs> vlog our lives, what's happening. Yeah. We want to share everything with you guys and let you know like the price we're paying for everything, price changes, keep you, you know, in the know. Thank you all for watching. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. I'm Ryan Roots. Allie Roots. And together yeah, we, we are, are Rally, Rally Roots. Roots. That was not a very good one. That was one. terrible. <laughs> Bye.